<clears throat> Welcome back. So we are starting chapter six, which is the final chapter uh, for for semester calculus. So we're at the beginning of the end. So what we're going to do for this chapter is um, do some applications of integration. And we're going to start out by finding area between two curves. And we're going to start with, um, so we have a, a top curve and we have a bottom curve. And it doesn't matter if it's below the x-axis or not. We're always looking for the top one over the bottom one. Now, eventually, we will be turning things sideways and uh, determining uh, the right one and the left one. But for now, we're doing up and down. And what we're doing is we're, once again, breaking them up into partitions like this, adding them up, and, of course, running into an integral. And so our area between two curves, we're assuming that f of x is bigger than g of x in this case, meaning whichever function is on top is the first one. So this is going to be the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x. And it's again, it's always the one on top minus the one on the bottom. And later when we um, have uh, x as a function of y, it'll be the, the right function minus the left function. All right. So let us begin with example one. Find the area bounded by the curve y equals e to the x bounded below by y equals x, and then x equals 0 and 1. And uh, these will prove to be our, our left and right boundaries in this case. So let's take a minute and graph these first. These two functions do not intersect. Um, I'm going to make this my one, and this is going to be one way over here. And for the line, this is the graph of a line, y equals x. We are going to end up with a nice straight line that goes through the origin in this case. And we are going to get, for our other function, an exponential curve. And this is when x equals 1, y is going to equal e. So I'm going to put that way up here. That's a 1. We'll put that as e. And so we are going to be way up here. And we're going to cross here. And the area of interest is between these two curves. So the red is the area of interest. And what I'm going to do is determine that this is my f of x, my top function, and this is my g of x. So the integral, the area, is going to be from 0 to 1, as bounded here, 0 to 1, of f of x, which is e to the x, minus the bottom function, which is just x. So we end up with e to the x from 0 to 1 minus 1 half x squared from 0 to 1. This gives us e to the first power minus e to the 0 power, which is 1, minus 1 half, 1 minus 0. And cleaning that up, that's going to give us e minus 3 halves. Not too bad, I don't think. But for part two, we're going to have to be a little bit more involved with the graphs. Uh, let's start here. Let's start where these two intersect, because it wants the area of the region enclosed by the two, uh, which means, and I'm going to utilize some of the space up here, I'm going to set the two functions equal to one another. And I can factor out a 2x here. 
So it looks like they are intersecting at the points at x equals zero and one. And that specifically is going to give us the points. Um, when I plug in zero here, we're going to get zero, zero. And when I plug in one here, we're going to get one, one. So these are our points of intersection here. Now for this function here, we are going to end up with um, x intercepts. So let's do x intercepts. For this one, it's only 0, 0. For this one, we're going to get x 2 minus x equals 0. We're going to get at 0 and at 2. x equals 0, x equals 2. And we have a vertex for this function negative b over 2a, that's going to be at 1, 1. So when we graph this, for this chapter, uh, knowing how to do the graphs is going to be quite important, actually. So at 1, 1, we are getting an intersection. And it is the vertex of this one as well. I can show you that real quick. Um, so x equals negative b, so that's negative 2 over 2a. And we know that when x equals 1, we have 1, 1. So we have a vertex there. And we have a point of intersection here and here. So for this function, we have our parabola. Here. And for this function, we have our x intercept here in our vertex at one and our other x intercept there. So the area of interest, and this is our y equals uh, 2x minus x squared. This is our y equals x squared. And the area between is the red. And we can see that the green is on top. So our area of interest is the integral from 0 to 1. 0 to 1, 2x minus x squared, minus x squared, dx. So we end up with the integral from 0 to 1, and we're still with a polynomial. And with zeros and ones, very nice. It doesn't matter what the exponent is. It ends up being the same. So this is going to give us 1 minus 0 minus 2 thirds of 1 minus 0. So we end up with 1 minus 2 thirds, which is just 1 third. Moving on. All right, find the area of the curve bounded by the curves sine x and cosine x as x goes from 0 to pi over 2. So we need some more graphs. And I'll make one up here. And we know that the graph of sine of x starts down at the bottom at 0, 0, and peaks out at 1 up here. 
This is y equals sine x. And we know that cosine starts up top and goes to zero at pi over two. So here we have a slight problem. First of all, we need to know where these two intersect with one another. If I divide both sides by cosine x, I get sine over cosine, which is tangent x equals one. That means x is pi over four. We are going to end up with two areas. Here we have area one, and here we have area two. For the first area, cosine is on top. For the second area, sine is on top. So our first integral, area one, is going to be the integral from zero to pi over four of cosine x minus sine x, because the cosine function is on top until we hit pi over four. All right, sine of pi over four is root two over two. Sine is zero is zero. Cosine of pi over four is also root two over two. Cosine of zero is one. So I view this as half of root two plus half of root two is just root two plus one, uh, minus one, minus one. The second area, Sine is on top, the blue is on top. And we're going to end up with negative cosine of pi over two is zero. Cosine of pi over four is root two over two. Please note that's gonna become positive root two over two minus the sine of pi over two, which is one minus the sine of pi over four, which is root two over two. So you'll notice that I'm gonna have positive root two over two plus positive plus because the distribute the negative plus positive root two over two. This is going to become root two minus one again. And you'll notice these two are the same. So the overall area is root two minus one plus root two minus one. So we're here. All right. So I mentioned before that um, we might have X as a function of Y. Uh, which is what we're going to have for this example here. Um, we're not going to do this example for this video. We're just going to be here. And we're going to have to do some analysis on this before we get too far. This is just a straight line, no problem. This one is a little more involved. So y squared equals 2x plus 6. That becomes x equals 1 half y squared minus three. And let's analyze this a little bit. First of all, let's find out where these two intersect, these two functions here intersect. So let's do this. So um, I'm going to replay, I'm going to rewrite this first one here as x equals y plus one. And I'm going to replace that into here, uh, I'm sorry, into here. And of course I have to get this equal to zero. So 
So they're going to intersect at uh, y equals negative 2 and 4. Now, at negative 2, when I plug in negative 2 there, I'm going to get negative 1. That's a y value, so negative 1, negative 2. And when I plug in 4 there, I'm going to get 5, 4. So here are the points of intersection for this function. Um, let's keep going with the, the this function here. If I want to find the, um, the y-intercepts, that's when x equals 0. So, um, so when x equals 0, so the y-intercepts, I'm going to get y squared equals 6, which means y is going to equal plus or minus root 6, which is about plus and minus 2.45 if you do that on a calculator. And let's also find the vertex of our function, this function here. So the vertex, uh, if you remember y equals negative b over 2a, there is no b here, so this is negative 0 over 2 times 1 half, and the point is we get 0 for y which means that the vertex is at the point zero, negative three. So when I plug in y equals zero here, uh, or here. So we have a vertex, we have points of intersection with the line, and we have y-intercepts. So let's try to get this graph down. All right, so we have points of intersection at uh, at five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So if we have a point of intersection here, and we have a point of intersection at negative one, negative two. And a vertex at negative three, zero. So let's draw in our graph. So let's start with our line first. And again, we're going to intersect at negative 1, negative 2. So all of these should line up. Then we have our parabola here. And it's crossing, if you remember, it was at uh, root 6, which was about 2.5, and, and negative 2.5. And, so our area of interest is here. Now, I want to point out the line is on top. Now remember it's remember it's from right to left in the case of these types of functions where we have y is a function of uh, x is a function of y. So we're going to end up with the line and um, we're going to have everything written in so this is x equals y plus 1 and this is the function x equals 1 half y squared minus 3. So notice they're both written in terms of this here. Y is going to go from negative 2, that's down here, up to 4. So the area becomes the integral from negative 2 to 4 of the line minus the parabola. So let's try to clean that up a little. All right, so I'm going to now integrate. This becomes one third, which makes this a one negative one sixth. 
y to the third from negative two to four plus one half y squared from negative two to four plus four from negative two to four. That turns this into negative one sixth. Four to the third is 64 minus, and because it's cubed, it's gonna be minus minus. So it's gonna be plus two to the third, which is eight. Four squared is 16 minus negative two squared is four. Plus four times four minus negative two. This all cleans up to come out to be exactly 18. So that is area between curves. Please verify my numbers. <laughs>